Hey y'all, we are in the back garden and I made a discovery today. tomatoes in the they're in half 55 gallon drums so they're called basically it's like a Dutch bucket um, and then I haven't got their support system set up yet but what you can see is that I have these poles with twine going across and then yarn holding them up they're young enough now and light enough now to do this, but I'm going to have to reinforce them. So as I am working on this today, getting everything supported because of our tomatoes are coming on, I discovered aphids! No! Aphids. I mean, they're just covered. See, can you see the little specks on there? Ooh, not my hand. You see all the little white? Like lice? That's an aphid. It is a soft-bodied parasite. That is a soft-bodied parasite that is going to completely destroy my tomatoes. And we're going to take care of them today organically. There we go. Fun fact, when your tomatoes are in bloom, you can help the pollination by walking by and diddling, what we call diddling, and knocking the pollen out of the bottom of the flower. So you will then have that. Help your tomatoes stay nice and healthy. All of your branches, your little branches, pinch them off, cut them off. One, it keeps a lot of air moving through here, so you're not going to get a lot of rot. Uh, it allows your tomato to feed what it needs to feed. To make your fruit. I went to Home Depot. I got a little one gallon sprayer. Uh, Ten bucks. And then what you want to use is a simple soap. This is the Castile soap. Got it at Target. It's expensive. It's like ten bucks. It's way worth it considering that it's organic um, and we are not going to hurt our groundwater with any kind of pesticides. And we can stay as organic as um, as possible with our plants. That's our goal, is be 100% organic. I'm doing this of an evening because I didn't want to do it in full sun because I would end up baking my tomatoes, wetting them down in the middle of full sun. What I'm doing is spraying the aphids, as many as I can, off of my tomatoes. Um, because they were pretty infested. So I'm just knocking off as many as I can. This is just ridiculous. Uh, fun fact, the better your soil, the more aphids you can actually get. Um, so this is like half and half topsoil and then fertilized um, potting soil to feed them and give them a boost, which makes the uh, tomatoes grow faster, makes the leaves more tender and more appealing to the aphids. So by boosting your tomatoes with some, some type of a hot potting mix, you're actually inviting the aphids in. So now you know. Uh, I'm gonna do four tablespoons of the Castile soap in my sprayer, in my one gallon. Uh, you can mix it up if you have a smaller sprayer. Just mix up a gallon of water and fill your sprayer with that gallon and then set that gallon off to the side. It ain't gonna go bad, it's just soap water. Mm -hmm. Hey, soapy water! There we 
go. And now, it's just a matter of, okay, it'd be nice if I had a handle. Um, just spraying you, spray your tomatoes. Spray them good. Once you have them sprayed and covered really good with the soapy water, uh, you can rinse off your tomatoes after about 24 hours. Rinse the soap off of them. And they give it a day um, to see how many of the aphids are still there. Uh, give it a day to see what's there and then just repeat the process until your aphids are gone. Soap's not gonna hurt anything except the aphids. And then you have a nice clean Okay, so we'll come back tomorrow and we'll check on them. Hey y'all, it's now day two. Let's check on the aphids. So we still, so we still have, we still have aphids, but nowhere to the degree that they were Yesterday. I was so infested. We are going to hit them again. I'm going to spray off what I can with water with the hose and then do another application of soapy water. We'll come back tomorrow, see what happens. Hey, let's check on the tomatoes today. The, I'm impressed with the infestation that I had after being gone for a week. The aphid infestation has dropped from this. To this in two applications. I'm impressed with using soap as an aphid deterrent in our garden. And I love that it is organic, biodegradable, doesn't hurt my bees. It's a little bit more work, 100% worth it, just to keep the chemicals out of the yard. So remember, peaceful, be kind. Try a little bit harder. I'll talk to you soon. I love pockets. <laughs> the end of the day, I have everything in my pockets.